like that. And here we go. Respect from both these players. Starting out with the fist bump. Let's get into it. Dark Blues versus Reed. Let's get it. I cannot lie. This is a game of who can respect who more. Yeah. You cannot lie. Yeah. You gotta respect Kazuya's face and you gotta respect Mithra's speed as right now. Oh, there we go. Exactly. The thing about this is that on paper, right, Aegis does pretty well with this character. The thing is that, like, Mithra, is, like, this speed kind of, like, gets you... You get really pumped up, right? You can run in, get your damage. The second Kazuya catches you lacking, like, those true confirms... Like, Force can really help you there. Like, obviously, help you get out certain confirms. And the true combos, you, you got to be careful. Like, right now, we're seeing like it. This. We're seeing it right like now. This. Oh, He's night. not going to try to code it. There it is, that Dory. I'm not oh, taking it already. Alive. Yeah, never mind. They just, they just cheats. Oh, nice air dodge there. Reed making it back. Oh, nice spot out there from Dark Blues. Slowing in on that laser coming out of the switch. Amazing switches already from Reed. He's already stock one. He's using that switch. Hopefully, there's that up out of shield. You'll see it. The first stop going towards uh, Dark Blues. Repping the Kazuya as usual. And we're going to see one more time. No Duria off of oh. the. Oh, this near spike. Not taking it. Side B gosh. will be setting it up right for Dark Blues to eat this, get, eat this game. Oh my gosh, Dark Blues is going crazy right now. Reach is trying to find an opening here, trying to find those combos with Mithra, and it's, it's not that simple against Kazuya. Like you have to play as so extremely patient. You can if you give this character one opening, he can quite literally eviscerate your stock. Oh, nice there's in that force to get out of there. Yep, force sight can be a really big deal oh, against gone. Kazuya, but there's another upbeat right after the stun of uh of the EW, EWGF. So here we go one more, uh -oh. one more time. Oh, we're no, gonna clank not gonna a little save bit. You there. No, don't shield. Your your shield will in fact be eaten up. Faster than a Chinese buffet. That's not, I'm craving that right now. Don't play with me. Dark Blue's trying to land oh, back here. Oh, the electric coming out. I don't think Ooh. Reed knows how to STI out of those. Nice foresight coming out. Oh, back online. Oh, that's good. That's huge. Nice read there from from Reed. Getting that uh, you could be there on Dark Blue. But now you're still down three stocks to one. You need to close the stock relatively soon. And F2 or something from Hyra can close out here. Look and Dark Blue's just, he's just waiting. He's like, yo, I'm yeah. up, bro, I'm up three stocks. Like. It's your move. Uh, the, the ball yeah, is in your court. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice. catching the jump there from Dark Blues. Jump spot coming to bite him in the butt. Shaking it off a little bit. Reed still down, but not out. He can still definitely makes something happen here. Oh, wait. oh, and, oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. He shimmied. Look at his smile. He knows he did something dirty. He shimmied. He did something so dirty. Oh, that was. He. He spoinked. Bro, he spoinky doinky. I he can't believe it. it. That was that was uncalled for. I he did all that. Again, look at this. Look at this. Look at the patience. Like, sc scooby oh my god, go crazy setup. Crazy setup. Oh my gosh, he's going in. He's going in. Oh my god. It's a. I just F smash. <laughs> and Mithra was going because I think he recognized that that we was going for a lot of stationary horizontal Look at options. His face. <laughs> there, there was, He's like, bro, not like that. There was this the oh, side yeah. B that he was charging up first again, cancel the side B, and then he was going in for um, dash attack. And Kazuya was like, with those invincibility frames that he has, that super armor, he said, "Look at this forest Nash hog." Yeah. Just, just, just sucker punch. But yeah, that's what oh he just God. said. But yeah. Dark so, Blues is still going in, gets that grab with 86%. Explosive start to this game. Reed finally finding a way to get out of there. It's just like, you, you, whenever you find that hit as Mithra, you have to take full advantage because, like, Kazi's going to do the exact same thing next to you. Oh my gosh. Then able to find the full extent of that side B on the platform. Landing with the Nair oh, once again. Dark Blues looking for that electric. Oh my god. Yeah, Reed has to start, you know, picking up this game plan a little bit. I know you guys you get, get to respect Kazuya's. You know, uh, distance so much and his power as an as a, as a as a character, but you're dead. Oh no, you're not dead. Oh my but God. you have to use agents's, you know, advantage state as well. And oh, yeah. I don't think he's using it. Oh <laughs> my goodness. I think he was going in for. Air. I think he was going in for the up to after the up after down air. Oh, trying to find the neutral. Oh no, you can't with a move like that against Kazuya. You'd be taking so much. Finds that down tilt there. You know, double down tilt on Kazuya is true. Like you can just do that do, 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 into anything. Like, why is everything in this character comes into everything else? Because uh -oh. he's fire fast too. Yeah. I love him. He's Kazuya Mishima. He is the CEO. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not a huge damage. Not taking wow. it yet. Unfortunate Mithra. angle. You might be dead here. Nice parry from... Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, fighting back with the F smash. Still in this re trying to find the forward air, but Dark Blue's waiting it out with the laser. Oh, that's I'd be jumping away, not getting the full extent of that move. Oh, okay. He got a little too lost in the sauce yep. there. And re taking it at the back, evening up the stock count. Good stuff. Here's the sideways dashing antics. There's that Nair spike box once more coming into play. 
There's a spinning roundhouse kick into Nair Spike once Ooh. again. Not getting anything off the flying sidekick. Oh. Abra Jab keeping Kazuya away, but oh there is that one's got a spinning hook kick. Oh my god. Spinning hook kick. That's going to take it. And now Dark Blue's like once again up a whole stock. It's just so tough for Reed to play this, right? He's like, he, he's playing a little too overzealous right now. He needs to realize that he play he has a sword. He has an crazy disjoint. You need to keep Kazuya away from you. Stop interacting with this character. Switch to Pyra and just forward tilt. Or oh, just oh. Yeah, you're right. I, I think the biggest thing is we might need to stay stay with Pyra against someone like Kazuya. Maybe she is a little bit slower. Maybe she is a little bit less be better in the air, but she has the power to contest with him. Exactly. Oh, he's trying to find that down air there. Not able to find that nice switch there from Reed, trying to stay away from Dark Blues right now. Like he's literally looking for that. One. Like nice landing there with the Nair, getting that more damage. Ooh. Okay, let me go that down here once again. Oh, that there dash attack is. is not. Oh no, it don't. No, it isn't. This is the All seventh character heavy character in the game. Activate that rage drive. Oh, oh no! Oh, unfortunate air dodge. Oh, in last like situation. I, I think just because it was he was he was facing the wrong way. I think that might have been it. You know, had he been up, I don't think he could have drifted far enough to the to ledge. So, unfortunate uh, second stock for for dark blues, but. Mm -hmm. We could be seeing a, a really clean second uh, second game for uh, Blues if he takes his lead away from this Mithra, who is slowly but surely taking his percentage back to an even state. There's Blizzing and once more, and not getting anything off of the end like of the move. Nice oh. missing the, the F to uh, the down to. Reed has brought this game already back in his favor. And I like I said, the switching to Mithra, steaming that away. Switching to Pyro, staying, keeping this Kazuya away from you. Oh my gosh, the dash. Nobody can escape that. He runs all the way back up to 120%. Shields aside, be not going to do enough. Oh my god, Rage Drive is online, we gotta be careful. Very smart on Dark Blues to actually unshield at the perfect moment to get more Rage Drive active on himself. But now, if you get a little more percent on yourself, you're gonna lose that Rage Drive. Oh my gosh. I Reed know. playing super patiently right now. He's in that side, but you keep him away from him. Reed now, is. 140. Reed is respecting Kazuya so much right now, knowing that he can grab you, he can command grab you from basically half the, like, literally mid range. Oh my gosh. And that's what Blues is going for. He's going for that Rage Drive. Uh -oh. Command grab. Letting go of Shield once again in the middle of a minimum of blazing end. Rage is still active. Oh, oh the roll! He looks to grab the Rage Drive is offline. This is huge for Reed. He just needs to play super patiently using that forward. His aerials are F-tilt to keep him away. Moving that forward here. He's respecting Kazuya so much. The, oh, oh my no. god! The Got super, too comfortable. The super armor ran through blazing end oh, long really enough to get that really side really kick, and then boom! There there was the rest of the blazing end. Really the super armor did the, not come out yet. No, uh, look. Wait, we'll slow it down. Oh, wait, Thank hold you. on, hold on. Yeah, it went to go it's jump right off there. Oh, no, it just, yeah, it didn't just oh, hit it, yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. it come out yet. Yeah, that's, that's here it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Got I think that, that that's the thing, too. Like, Reed was playing super, super well that last That was perfect, that last time. It's just like, you got a little bit too comfortable throwing up those, those blazing ends in the ledge. You got to remember, he's, he was going power first this time. Oh, wait, are he? I'm not lied. Okay, but still. The, the thing that you got to do... Okay. Then Mithra first. Mm -hmm. He's trying to mess with me. He's messing with my head. He's, he's, he's trolling hears, you. Hears my guy. He's literally trolling me. He's trolling you. Nah, but read that last time. That's what you gotta do the entire time. It might be lame. It's not your usual pirate mythic game that you're used to. But that's what you gotta do. You, gotta, you cannot. You gotta use your sword and you gotta hang onto it for dear life. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, like we said earlier, I think oh. it's, it's not staying Mithra the entire time. I think Pyra is likely your better option for maybe 70% of the matchup and then go to Mithra for maybe these low skirmishes in the very beginning, you know? Exactly. Oh my gosh, there we go. Dark Blue is getting a good combo right there. The Reed coming back with 57% of his own. Just waiting. He's waiting for Dark Blue to throw out an aggressive option and then getting a punish of his own. But just like, you gotta be like extra patient against Kazuya, right? Literally, like we said against a lot of it, like literally against Kazuya, one mistake and it's, oh my god. He just <laughs> missed it down here. Same. I had the same reaction because I was like, wow. Kazuya Laser actually got low profile oh, by, by Pocky. By, oh by my Pyro. gosh, okay, all right. You didn't need that down here. What a tech going out from Reed, and now he's got the lead once again. Dark Blue's got to be careful here, because Reed is in real time learning the matchup. I mean, Reed has to learn the matchup at this point, because it's, it's Kazuya Mishima. This is a matchup check and a half. Just like Steve to an extent. Uh, yeah, not do exactly. Not, oh my gosh. There we go. Dark Blue is just looking and trying to see me in. That is his own combos of his own. But Reed knows exactly what's happening. Right? He knows whenever he, he's trying to get to just back up a little bit and find those combos of your own. Nice, nice back air. 20%. It's not going to be hurting too much. Just waiting out, waiting for that option to be thrown out for Dark Blues, waiting for that aggressive option. Nice second place. However, there's like grab the forward throw as well, following through. And then and they'll switch to Mithra. Oh, yeah, Luli switch to Mithra. <laughs> oh, nice. Landing there with the forward air once again. Flame over coming out. Nice punish there with the down air. Reed's looking as clean as ever right now. Nice forward throw to get Dark Blues off the ledge. 
Oh, okay, nice aggressive approach there with the up air. Dark Blue's finally hitting through that pirate barrage at the ledge. He's just looking for that one opening and just Reed is literally platform camping him. He's not giving it to him. He can't. You can't give Kazuya that advantage state on the ground, and that's that's the biggest issue. You know, Kazuya, most of the FGG are so good on the ground up on the platform. You know, once you try to grab platform tending them, they can't really do much except, you know, weigh it out or unwisely chase you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nice forward air coming out from Reed, and there we go. In the lead once again, but that's your, your that that's that one mistake. Reed's like, damn, I, I really just made one mistake. My stock is gone. We're at last stock si situation. Reed on his possible tournament stock, but he's looking really clean right now. Honestly, he's learning the matchup. He knows what to do. He's waiting for Dark Blues to whip a move. It's like that, but oh my gosh. Dark Blues just needs that one good interaction. Like, Dark Blues has to sit back and realize, like, he knows what I'm doing for. I need to sit back and play patient by myself. Like, once I get that that one little, I, I, I can't be too greedy. I, I might be causing it, I don't want to run it all the time. But I need to earn it, oh my this gosh. This is the comfort that Dark Blues was looking for, and unfortunately he drops a combo, which could have literally put him in a winner's situation, but now we're pretty much at an even game until Kaze, of course, gets Rage Drive active. There's a third up there, do it again. Now uh, you're catching no. Reed lacking oh. disadvantage state. 106%, nice blazing end from Reed. Oh, the footstool! Oh. You know, it has to roll out. Good stuff from Dark Blues delivering that, but Reed was cooking up something fierce right there. A little too aggressive with that up B. Dark Blues is waiting for that uh, ledge off. There we go, the for. down throw. He was waiting for exactly. Waiting way out the blazing end because he's been throwing out oh, all the brothers. Oh, the middle that's of the thing. It. And there it is, the laser not taking it yet. Oh, can Pyro Reach come back? Yes, you can. Uh oh. No Doria, unfortunately. Dark Blues, you know, a little too crazy there at the ledge, throwing out that electric. Now it just needs that one little opening. And oh, that's that. that is going to do it. And there yes. we go. Wow. I love that I don't call him by the second name. Come like, I know, like, that. All right, I'm I'm sorry. Just just call me a just call me a loser. No, I don't know Tekken names. I just call them like oh, the you? actual martial arts names. Oh, that's actually pretty funny. I mean, I'm pretty sure that, like most of the time like that that is the case. I mean, but look at no, he's like, just like Thunder Sidekick. I don't know. Reed was playing so well here, but unfortunately, you know, like he caught. Yeah. With, he knew exactly what you're gonna do. You wanted you got really a little bit too comfortable like dropping shield and then jumping back. Like I like the idea there, and it was working most of the time. But Dark Blues in that last stock scenario is saying like, "Hey, I know what you want to do. You want to wait for me to run in, so you're gonna jump back and then whip punish me. So I'm gonna catch jump back before you even think to do it." And thinking of jumping back, we're gonna jump back into some ads because we gotta talk about Encore Smash on October 29th. There's a two two hundred and fifty dollar pop bonus. That's at least like half of our rent. So like, that's like a quarter of a rent. If you win, of course, there is, of course, $10 singles, $10 doubles, $5 each per player, and a $15 venue. And there's also a redemption bracket for those of us that don't want to, you know, stop playing, you know? There's a redemption bracket just for you. Uh, this, for more information, go to start.gg forward slash ESM, uh, you know, that's for Encore Smash. And you can always, you know, just because you're already here on Twitch chat, do S uh, Point Encore in the chat for more details. And, you know, about more details, uh, how about House of 3000? Come on now. House, House of 3000. The organization that is supporting New York Smash and more than anyone else, right? Like, honestly, we have NPT in Philly, we got Collision in Jersey, and we got House of 3000 out here. Follow them on Twitter, follow them on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Please support this organization. They're bringing these amazing events, especially here at Defend the North. Thank you so much to HO3 guy. And last but certainly not least, we have Uptown Gaming coming to Uptown New York City in the first quarter of 2023. That's literally in like three to four months. Uh, hopefully, it's really early next year. We have Uptown Gaming is a grassroots, casual, and competitive gaming organization with a focus on community building. Uptown Gaming will be opening in our esports arena, lounge, and a restaurant in the neighborhood early Ooh. next year. The venue will serve as a home for local gamers, streamers, and of course, artists to display their, ta their skills and talents, which is like, that's so sexy of them. Like, that's, that's such a big that's community a very effort, nice and combo. I love the idea. So, of course, they have tournaments, live streams, casual events, and parties. There's performances, and there's more to come. So, if you want some more stuff about them, and when the actual grand opening is, go ahead and follow them on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter, listed right over there. Please do, because this sounds like a really fun little thing for us uh, people in, over here in New York. So, up to